Hey everybody, it's Mr. G, and we have a lot to do. This is a pretty detailed tutorial. So, when you see this screen, beep, pause. You're gonna wanna pause the video and do whatever step it is I've asked you to do. And then when you've done it, either rewind or come back. Okay, so today what we're gonna be doing is creating the look for an idle game. So we're, we're creating what I call the shell or the frame the thing that people would see, the user interface, the UI, for an idle game. And then from there, you can uh, work on the programming side. Th that is not a side that I have, but I do have uh, some of the graphic design ideas, and I have some really cool things my students have made. The sample we're gonna use today um, is Sprinkle Clicker, and um, it is based off of the uh, cookie clicker style. So, first thing everyone's gonna do to get this started is you're gonna be creating everything in layers, which is a paint.net file or a PDN. So, you're gonna find a background. And this is the background here. We're all gonna start with a background. Um, we're gonna start with a lighter color background. Now you can choose to go with a darker background and use white text, or use a lighter background and use dark text. Um, there's a million combinations, but basic design rule 101 is that that's something you do so that it's easy to read and see your text especially on a small device if it were an iPhone or an iPad or or an Apple watch or something um, so let's choose a background so at this point we're going to go to Google and um, I'm gonna write uh, let's see light and you can just write the color you want so in this case I'm just gonna write light yellow background Okay, those are perfect. They've got some gradients, they've got some, some textures. I like this right here. See this one? I like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna just copy that image. Now, before I get started, I'm gonna create a new, uh, a new um, document. So I'm gonna go File, New, and we're gonna set it to 1000. Oops, did I click New? I think it's thinking about it. File, there we go. I'm gonna set it to 1000 by 600 and say okay all right so you're gonna set your image to 1000 by 600 go ahead and pause that okay you've got your 1000 by 600 you can see it here at the bottom all right so now we're going to uh, paste what we just copied from the internet so I'm gonna click control V and I'm just gonna say keep canvas size because I just made my size the size I want it. So I don't want to expand it, I want to keep it. And then I can just move this so that I can see the coolest part of the design. I want to make sure it fills the whole background. And then I'm gonna name it background. If it isn't already named background, I'm gonna double click on it. I might even call it yellow bubble background. Okay, just so that I know exactly what that is. Then I'm gonna create a new layer. You're going to click the new layer button. You can also go to um, control shift N if you are a shortcut person. You're going to be making a lot of layers, so that might actually be a really helpful shortcut key. Control shift N. Okay, so now um, what's next? Well, the next most important thing is to put your thing that you're clicking. In this case, they have a giant floating cupcake. I mean, the, the granddaddy of all is... Uh, uh, cookie clicker and you have a giant cookie floating in the cookie verse outer space right so we need this object that we're gonna click on so I'm just gonna search for a cupcake and I'm gonna write cupcake and PNG you're gonna write whatever the object is soccer ball baby shark whatever um, I'm gonna pause here for you so at this time we're gonna hit the pause button and then you're gonna go and find your object PNG. You're going to find your object PNG. I'm going to pause. Go ahead and hit your pause button or your space bar. Click. All right, you found your perfect object. We're back. You're going to click on the object and you're going to find it. PNG is going to have this uh, background like this and you're going to right click and you're going to copy image. Now this is going to be a big image. I'm going to show you what to do with that when you come in. So we're unpaused. We're back. We're going to our background. We're going to add a new layer and we're going to call this cupcake. Or call it whatever your layer is, cookie, donkey, shark, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna say, okay, cupcake. Maybe if I spell that with a P, there we go. All right, say okay. All right, so now I'm gonna paste, control V. Now it's gonna say expand or keep canvas size. What are we gonna do? Keep 
canvas size. Okay, we're gonna keep it. So we're gonna click on keep canvas size and we are gonna zoom out with the magnifying glass down here on the bottom right. See, and I'm gonna hold the shift key when I grab the corner. I'm gonna grab a corner, not a middle, not a middle, but a corner and I'm gonna hold shift and then I'm gonna use the arrows, the four way arrow to drag it. And I'm gonna make sure that this is not super gigantic. I mean, it's gotta be big. I want it to be big because that's the thing they're gonna click on. But we have lots of other things we wanna fit on the screen. So once I get it to the size I want, I'm gonna hit the enter key and I'm gonna zoom back into 100%. Okay, and there's my, my cupcake. It's on its own layer, which means I can move it independent of the background. I can change the background. I can turn the background on and off. You're gonna test that to make sure that they're on their own layers, okay? All right, so we've got the next step. So at this point, we are gonna start, um, I'm probably gonna add our, uh, I'm gonna, let's go back and look at the example. We're gonna add our overlay. And we're gonna do a custom overlay this time. So to do a custom overlay, we're gonna create a texture. We're gonna find a texture that would go along with our theme. So for example, if I were doing um, a soccer ball, maybe I would want metal bars. Or um, if I were gonna do like prison clicker, it might be bricks or steel. Um, so I'm gonna look for a texture. So I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna um, type in, for example, for the cupcakes, I'm gonna do wood, wood texture, something organic. Okay, so I've got these, oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a darker wood since I have a lighter background. So I'm not gonna go with a light colored wood in this example because I want it to contrast. So if you have a dark background, you'd wanna use a lighter um, overlay. This is gonna be our overlay, and I'm gonna show you what that, what that means in a second. So I'm going to, I'm gonna see if I can find a bigger one. This is pretty big. I can see it's 1400 by 980. That's larger than my screen. That's perfect. I'm gonna copy image. And um, actually, if you're still looking for your background, don't forget to pause, pause me, find your background, and then hit the unpause. All right, we're back. So now I'm gonna add a new layer. Always add a new layer. Control, Shift, N for new layer. Control, Shift, those are in the bottom left-hand corner of your keyboard, and then N. All right, so now we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna paste, Control V to paste. And it's gonna say keep or expand. We're going to keep. There we go, all right, perfect. Now we've got our top layer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it right there. It's perfect right there, I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, now it's covering everything, but I'll show you in just a moment how we're gonna cut out our frame to have a, a frame that we're gonna put everything around. So um, I'm gonna go to my layer. I'm gonna double click on the layer and I'm gonna name it uh, wood frame. You name it whatever yours is, metal frame, sand frame, bar frame. And I'm gonna name it that and I'm gonna double click on it again and I'm gonna change the opacity. I'm gonna lower the opacity like this so I can see through to my background. And I can always change this. I can always paste the frame on again but I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna leave it at 167%, and I'm gonna start cutting out. Now I'm gonna look back at the example. You see how these bars are here? I wanna cut out spaces so I can write and have things uh, with, uh, but it's gonna look cool, you'll see. So let me try this. I'm going to get the rectangle select tool. I'm gonna go back to mine, and I'm gonna just go like this. I'm going to, I'm gonna put a big chop like this. I'm gonna do it a little more like cookie clicker. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna just hit the delete key, okay? Then I'm gonna do another space in the middle, like this. And then I'm gonna do space right here for my upgrades. At the top. And I'm gonna do a space down here. And now I've made a custom frame, a custom wood overlay where I can put my text. So this is sort of like the black lines that you're seeing on Cup Sprinkle Clicker, but uh, a little more, little more organic. Now I'm gonna go back to that wood frame layer and I'm gonna turn the opacity back on full. Boom, custom overlay, what? So I'm gonna give you a few minutes to do that. If you haven't done that, go ahead and hit 
the pause button and we'll continue. Okay, we're back again. All right, so, um, and by the way, pause, unpause, space bar, usually for, for YouTube. You gotta make sure you're on the YouTube screen if you're working side by side with me. All right, let's do something we haven't done yet. Let's save file, save as, and um, if you're in my class, you should go to your H drive, um, and I'm just gonna put this in period three. I'm gonna put it in my paint.net folder, and I'm gonna call it uh, sprinkle, Clicker layers and it should be a PDN and if you've got layers it should automatically start with a PDN. I'm gonna click save. Okay. Alright, that's major. Alright, so now we've got our file named, we've got our layers. The next phase is to start adding the text. So I want like I said, this now the wood frame is gonna be the top layer. So from now on when we add new layers. We're going to actually bring them under the wood frame because the wood frame is the top part. It's on top of everything. And we're going to start adding um, our other objects or our text. So you should have a bunch of little images. And you see how they're very small. You're going to shrink them down very small. And if you want them to look good when you shrink them, you're going to hold the shift key. So, and if you look at the original sprinkler, sprinkle clicker, you're going to see that most of their things are on their own layer. The little baker advertisement now I'm gonna tell you don't put the text and the picture on the same layer you might say Baker and then you might say Baker text and have them on their own layer or have all the text on one layer and all the images on another layer and you need to be really careful while you're doing this because it can make it very hard to fix problems later so I'm just gonna say it over and over again have everything on its own layer create a special layer for your objects I would just have all your objects on there individual own layers so I'm gonna start adding my layers if now it's up to you you're gonna take your creativity and make something really cool and um, this is my start of my creation the cupcake clicker this is how to make the frame the starting look your goal is to end up with this and there's no secret it's just a bunch of work and thinking and if you're in my class you've already done some thinking about the process of how to make this um, thanks for sticking around. This is this is a long tutorial, but um, it's uh, it's going to be a really cool final product. And you can take a look at um, the, I love some of these Starburst achievement. Um, there's some really cool ones that my students have made over the years, and I hope um, you share yours and and maybe even make yours. By the way, if you go, I'm going to just share this information right now on my website. Um, and you probably can't find, if you've watched this in the future, you won't necessarily be able to find this, but I'm going to give you the link. Um, uh, the um, Ordeal, uh, Ortiel, the guy who made, I don't know how to say his name, but the guy that made Cookie Clicker created this idle game maker, okay? And as of 2017, now this, is, I'm, this video is 2019, middle of 2019. Um, this was from 2017, which is pretty new. Um, he created this custom game called Bunny Clicker and then he shows how to make your own games it is not simple I will probably I, at some point I may do some tutorials on this I'd love for you to check it out if you're still here great you don't have to be you're you know you're working on your other project that's awesome but this is the um, absolute coolest thing for making an idle game it is not simple it is coding but it is way simpler than learning all the background code yourself. Um, he kind of walks you through these steps, and um, and I'm going to tell you it's not easy. Uh, but um, I may start doing something by creating my own. I created a game called Chuck Puncher a long time ago. Uh, it was a Chuck Norris game where you punch Chuck Norris, uh, and of course it never hurt him because he's Chuck Norris. Anyway, uh, have fun with your idle game. Talk to you later. Bye.